Each and every one of us is the divine light. Each and every one of us is the divine love. What is the quantum field of energy? How do we access it? This is our first topic today. We've come on the world to rise above that, to deal with all those emotions and feelings and release them. Enter into this source light. That is why we're here. We will be introduced to energy codes, four energy locks within our bodies to help us to understand more clearly our emotional, mental states of being. All right. This practice will enable us to bring more awareness into our bodies than be preoccupied with what we're thinking. That's what it. we're going to be doing is we're going to be, since we are co-creators, we're going to co-create today with the Elohim. So we mentioned, um, like in the flyers and coming up here, to have an idea of what you will to manifest. Let me just go back to right. This is what we're going to be doing. So upon, we're actually going to be manifesting this or activating this within us. And so we, this is here, it is existing, but we need to activate it. Upon the forehead of every individualized God intelligence, you and me, there is a beautiful crown of light upon the front of which there are seven flames in the colors which represent the seven rays or the flames of the Elohim. Today, we will activate this crown with the Elohim. So we're gonna see here a picture. See yourself entering through a large portal graced by two immense white pillars. The entrance hall is shaped as an octagon, each side leading to another room. This is a busy retreat. Blue flame angels, 10 feet high, mighty seraphim, cherubim, angel divas, as well as those ministering to all the seven rays are coming and going. Aloha. Aloha from Kauai, sacred island in Hawaii. And as you can see, and probably here, we are right here on the ocean. Once on an ancient island in Hawaii, there was a young man named Mapua who had difficulty being still. All right, see you later, everybody. Good night.